And for so many people, it's really not a trip to the Erie County Fair unless you've had your, your kettle corn either. That's why we are coming over here to the Harlan Hansen and your original kettle corn stand. I have to tell you, we are located right next to our and the smell is so intoxicating. We just had to get up out of our seats and come over here. How are you doing so far? Uh, we're doing well. The fair's been good to us this year. It's been good to us for, uh, this is our 15th trip here, and it's been better as time goes on. And uh, your family is from the Pennsylvania area, but you always come here, like you said. Right, right. We're from uh, 20 miles northeast of Pittsburgh, uh, three and a half hours to get here, and uh, we enjoy it. And so many people want to know, how do you make kettle corn? What is the secret? Uh, love. <laughs> no, uh, we cook in the kettle back there, obviously. We use soybean oil for our oil, uh, stirring it constantly so that the, the, when we add our secret recipe, pure cane sugar, we shouldn't tell anybody that, uh, that it gets thoroughly mixed in. And as it's finished, we dump it forward, and then it's lightly salted. Then you have that crisp, delicious popcorn. And it just tastes so fresh. You do it right here on site. That's not just for show. This is the real thing, right? We do this continually throughout the fair. It's, it's nonstop, especially as the evening wears on. Do you have any idea how many pounds of kettle corn you've sold so far? Uh, let me think about that here. Um, uh, probably close to 2,000 pounds so far, I think. If my math is right. 2,000 pounds isn't bad, right? And the rusticness of your tent just really stands out, especially as it's located right here on this corner. If you do come by the Channel 4 gazebo, you will not miss the Harlan's original or the Hanson's original kettle corn spot. And I love your getup, too. Explain to us a little bit about how you got dressed today. Well, uh, you can thank my wife for that. She thinks we need to be in red gingham. It kind of goes with the um, farm uh, country theme so that's how we are to be dressed with the aprons uh, you can see our cover back there is a gingham uh, cover uh, the the booth ties in with the historical building a lot of the effects you see around actually have our family history in them all right it's really like we said it's just not the Erie County Fair unless you've had to cut corn make sure you stop by and see Harlan Hansen and his wonderful family they will get you as big of a bag as you want and you're not gonna run out are you oh no okay oh, no. and